Right, Tally, hey there champs and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be doing my one month review of the Dell XPS 15. The Cabby Lake model, the 9560. Just going to go through some of the things I love, some of the things I don't like so much and go through some FAQs and some problems there are. Now I'm going to be doing this review Archie Luxury style which means just slop it out without editing. Uh, yeah, sorry for that but I am a bit pressed for time at the moment. But um, yeah, the do not look up Archie Luxury on YouTube. Um, yeah, you, you can't unsee that. I will be doing a lot more XPS videos. I will be doing my advanced setup video very soon. That will be coming in the next few days. And I'll also leave a link to the playlist with all my XPS 15 9560 videos which there are like, there's over 10 videos on this laptop already so you can check out that playlist if you've missed anything and there's videos on everything so yeah check that out also some people have complained i do too much xps videos yeah um let me know down there in the comments if you think that's right or give me a thumbs up if you like xps 15 videos um so i can just gauge whether whether you're still interested in more videos on the xps 15 so since i've had this a month now actually i'll open her up so there's been one BIOS update, there's been a couple other driver updates and so on. Definitely go and do that BIOS update, always keep up to date. I do have videos on how to fresh install Windows and my advanced videos coming soon as I just said in the next couple of days so look out for that. Apart from updating that BIOS and a couple of driver updates, it's been running faultlessly. There are a couple of issues I'll get onto later but I've been able to edit all my videos on this. It's fantastic. I love using it. It actually makes me want to use it. I actually have like a 40 core Xeon desktop with a Titan X and like a 43 inch 4k display but for some reason I always just want to use this because I just love it so much it's just such a great laptop so as you expect there wouldn't be much wrong with a month old laptop and this thing has been virtually faultless apart from the issues I'll get to later and have a look at it it is a thing of beauty it is gorgeous of course this is subjective, but I love the look of it. The carbon fiber soft touch. It just looks gorgeous. I love it. Now, some of the things I love about it are obviously this awesome Infinity Edge 4K display. Nothing matches it. Like the Infinity Edge display has been out for like three years or whatever. Not on this particular model on the XPS 13, but um, nothing else comes close at the moment. No one else is getting near this. The Apple's got, you know, the MacBook has like bigger bezels. It like has a big forehead, but this Infinity Edge, it has even been matched yet it's so gorgeous and of course what a cracking screen 4k 100% Adobe RGB even the full HD version is a fantastic display if, if you want a 1080p screen and that's not glossy so if you don't like glossy screens maybe go for that they're both great but I really love this 4k display it really is one of the biggest highlights on the XPS 15 also what I love is the performance this thing is just a beast it will take anything you throw at it, it can have multiple 4k streams and it will play it back at full playback not even half playback I'm talking full Full playback at 4K with LUT and color correction applied. Now, the last generation model, the 9550, I would have to reduce it down to half to make it play back the footage smoothly. So this is a really performance beast. It absolutely blows the MacBook Pro away. It's not even a competition. Sorry, Mac people. I know I get a lot of Mac people going crazy and leaving like bad comments and that, but hey. It is what it is. This thing blows the MacBook away. And it's also a gaming beast. We're talking the latest titles, high setting, 60 frames per second. There are a couple of titles that won't play at 60 frames per second high settings, like, say, GSX or something like that. That's a really demanding title, but most titles high setting 60 frames per second. So I don't have to buy a gaming laptop. This kills the two birds with one stone. It's so small and light for a 15-inch laptop with a graphics card no other 15 inch comes near it and yeah i can game with it i can video edit there's nothing i can't do with it and as i said it fits inside a 13 inch sleeve this laptop so it's not big to lug around also the battery life is fantastic i get over seven hours battery life with the 4k display you'll get over 10 hours with the full hd display now a lot of people ask me if i set the 4k models resolution to 1080p will i get extra battery life and actually you do i was getting like eight and a half hours battery life when i've done that so you can reduce the resolution to 1080p and get an extra hour or so battery 
tree. Now there is one caveat to that and that is when you set it to 1080p it's not as sharp. You can visually see that it's a bit softer. Also what I love about this is no dongles required. Oh how good is it? You do not have to carry any dongles around. It has SD card slot, you have USB 3, you have full HDMI and you even have Thunderbolt 3 so you're covered with ports. No dongles awesome i love how easy it is to upgrade just pop off the bottom just upgrade the ram and ssd at your will you can put up to 32 gigs ram and you can put a two terabyte 960 pro in this and nothing will come near it in terms of read and write speeds there next year when they bring out the 970 pro you'll be able to put that in too so fantastic also it's great value compared to the macbook pro if you get a similar spec it's going to cost you nearly a thousand dollars more and it's nowhere near as capable of as this laptop so i know it is expensive but if you compare it to a macbook pro it, yeah it's like nearly a thousand dollars cheaper so it is good value and i don't see any laptop that is as good as this and as powerful as this in this sort of form factor that costs less than this this is really good value also like the fingerprint reader windows hello that's awesome now let's talk about some of the issues now the chrome issue is still there so what i'll do is i'll leave a link in the description on how to try and fix that chrome issue where it just lags on chrome and just uh freezes and stuff and that's just a driver issue that will be eventually fixed 100% and I'll leave a link to Chris Gonsalvi's video on how you install the latest Intel HD graphics which will fix that lag problem in Chrome. I don't use Chrome so I, it's just too bloated and it's just I, I'll just use Edge now. Gives you better battery life using Edge as well. So an Edge isn't that bad so maybe you should give it a go. Sometimes the screen flickers and I'm 100% confident too that that is a driver issue with the Intel HD as well so it happens every now and then it'll be fixed with a driver update or BIOS update eventually. Now coil wine I'll get asked about that or I've never had one with a coil wine yet and I've had multiple XPS 15s not that I've had to return them or anything just I've had review units a lot of my friends have bought these so I've come across quite a lot of them and I haven't had one with coil wine yet sometimes if I actually put my ear to the keyboard yes I could hear some electrical noise but I could not hear it in real world so I haven't had one with coil wine bad enough that you would have to return it or something and I'm not saying it doesn't happen of course mass produced products you're going to get this sort of thing but I've seen more than my fair share of XPS laptops and i haven't had that issue so i think it's overplayed a bit now ghost in yeah okay so check out my screen comparison between the full hd and the 4k model i go into depth about the screen there it's not a gaming laptop so if you're really sensitive to ghosting and stuff like that just get a gaming laptop i don't really notice ghosting in the real world so yeah just check out that video and i go into depth about it i'll leave a link in the description now also people are getting different ssds so you could end up with a samsung which is the fastest that's the one you want <laughs> it's a lottery at the moment i think you could get a light on and you could get a toshiba hopefully you get samsung if you get a toshiba or light on don't be worried about it because unless you've got a thunderbolt 3 ssd array and you're right into it from that um, you're never going to max out the speed of say the Toshiba SSD you're just not going to do it you're not going to notice any difference but of course it would be nice if everyone got the Samsung I believe it is a supply issue it is what it is so I just recommend now get the lowest capacity SSD model XPS 15 of the model you want and just upgrade it if that's what you want to do but realistically 99% of you will be fine with whichever ssd it comes with it's plenty fast enough now things i don't like about it i don't like that it doesn't support connected standby which is basically the modern hibernation and i believe that's because they offer a hard drive model and it's just too much of a logistic problem to um, implement connected standby that's just a guess i don't know why but um hopefully connected standby will come in a bias update soon yeah it gets fingerprints on it but 50 50 white vinegar and water yeah just use that and you can clean that but yeah it does get fingerprints and i don't like the power like i prefer a magnet solution i know mac got rid of it but it would be awesome if there was a magnet solution and some people want to charge through the thunderbolt or usb-c i would just prefer a magnet like with my last model my kid did actually walk through the cord and pulled the laptop off the table ah, that was a bad day believe me nothing happened but still it was loose after that you know i just yeah i just wish it had a magnet connection 
and that's about it for cons i mean other than that i really love this thing um stay tuned for more xps videos give me a thumbs up if you want to see more um you know give me a thumbs down if you don't want to see any more xps videos uh, just let me know there in the comments anything you want to know about it i've got a lot more tech content coming soon guys and yeah appreciate it if you subscribed if you're new around here and until next time guys tally ho